Hey everyone, welcome to Temperance Tarot. My name is Holly and I'm filming an unboxing first impressions from for you. I just received from Amazon. Um, I blacked out my address so you can't see it. It's upside down. But I just received from Amazon this package and uh, I have not opened it yet so I'm going to rip it open right now. I figure out where to open it from. Oh, there it is. Okay. I think it's one that I don't need to necessarily grab scissors for. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. So I ordered the Tarot Del and Wheat, which is uh, Tarot of the Night. And it's beautiful. Look at that. Look at that box still sealed. I think one corner of the box got boxed a little bit. I won't be able to really tell till I get the wrap open, which I'm going to grab some scissors and very delicately do. Because this box actually is like gilded in silver and um, I don't want to scratch it. So I'm just going to like get up under where some of the plastic is sticking up. So then I'm not touching the box. There we go. That should be good there. We're in my office upstairs. I work from home. And um, I do uh, have a very cool office. I may do an office tour one day on one of my random days. Um, because I hope to get a schedule of videos published up really soon. Um, since I'm no longer doing knitting content, I might do knitting content once in a while on here. Um, I'll put that in a different playlist and I'll try to keep Temperance Tarot related stuff on a playlist. So here's my trash. I'm going to toss it there. And then I'm going to open this beautiful box. Yeah, the first corner right there. I don't know if you can see. It just got a little bit boxed. Um, but it's okay. It's fine. I love it. Really nice packaging. It's really lovely. Very shiny. That is it from all sides. Let me try to make sure I keep it in frame. There we go. Beautiful. Just stunning. And uh, I'm going to. First thing that tipped out was the booklet. It's just a small little booklet. Um, but it's got really the really smooth, like photograph paper almost in there. Um, lots of information in there. It's a standard booklet that gives... Oh! Some spreads and as well as the meaning of the cards. Just give you a little shift there. Um, and appears that the booklet is in here actually twice. It's in a different language in the back. So half the booklet is in English and half the booklet is in Tarot de la Nuit. Is that Spanish? I'm going to feel like an utter idiot. I know the translation is Tarot of the Night. And I, I want to say that that is Spanish and not French. Um, so if I am incorrect in that it's Spanish, please don't come at me. Uh, just gently correct me and I will appreciate it. Um, so I'm going to stick the book back in here for now. I generally don't use the books. I go with um, my own gut feeling. I kind of let the spirits speak through me when they see the cards. So... Um, but for the first impressions and we draw a card, I'll get the book just to maybe I don't know I'm on the fence about that just because I really don't like to use books I tell you what 
I'll give my impression of the card first, and then I will grab the book and look up the meaning of a particular card um, when we get to that part. Oh. All right, I'm going to, I really want to show you the backs of these cards. It's so nice, but I'm going to, this is not a new tarot deck, by the way. This is just new to me. Uh, I have never used this deck before. And it's very, it's very unique to my collection. Uh, so I'm just getting into the plastic. More plastic. Let's grab my envelope. And shove all the trash in here. Oh, toss it back here. Okay. And here's what the backs of the cards look like. They're very shiny, very glossy. Um, the cardstock is nice. It's kind of you know, not too thick, not too thin. It's a nice card stock. Um, we do get like a title card in there, which is really cool. You can see, I'm sorry for all the glare coming in, but you can see how glossy the cards are. And again, we've got like a nice little snap and they feel like they're going to shuffle great. Um, so I like that. And we're going to go through the cards one by one. I'm going to try to go through it fairly quickly. Um, oh, is that two cards together? Yes. Okay, the cards are sticking together a little bit because of the gloss. And um, it's very hot here. It's like 80. What is the temperature here? I'm in Georgia. Uh, it is. 85 today. It was 88 yesterday, so I suppose I can't complain. Um, but yeah, it's pretty hot, and they sat outside for probably 10, 15 minutes before I got to them. Um, my dogs let me know that the Amazon people were here dropping off a package. But there is the fool. She's gorgeous. I love all the purples. She really speaks to me. I love how she's like up to something. Doesn't she look like she's totally up to something? I love it. Um, oh. It's very rare that I see a, a woman depicted as the magician. But this one depicts a very gorgeous woman. And it's reading little bit brighter purple than it really is in real life but that is it and it's yeah if I tip the card back like that a little bit I think you can see it better really gorgeous and yeah so the cards are pretty pretty sticking together okay um, ooh. the high priestess getting a little bit of a Daenerys vibe on the artwork very pretty. Very pretty indeed. Oh, wow. The Empress. So gorgeous. She's kind of sleeping, it looks like there. We're just relaxing. She's very chill. And the Emperor. Very nice. Kind of got a gladiator feel. And the Hierophant. Believe I pronounced that word correctly. Hierophant. Uh, most of my decks actually do not have a Hierophant. They have a another card in substitution with that. So. Oh, wow. Oh, the feels on this one. Ooh. The lovers. Look at that. Just look at that gorgeousness. The chariot. This is actually one of the cards that they showed on the Amazon website. And I really, this is actually one of the cards that drew me to purchase the deck. 
is the fact that she's actually on a flying carpet, which I think is incredibly gorgeous. And I tell you, I love the strength card will honestly make or break a deck for me. Um, this is one of my more personal cards that I'm personally drawn to. And uh, so if I don't like that card, I probably not. If I can't connect to that card, the imagery in that card, if I can't wrap around it, uh, the deck and I won't get along. So, um, and this card is stunning. We're going to get along just fine. Yes, yes we are. Yeah, girl. Okay, so far so good. Aside. And the Hermit is another card that I, not all my decks have. There it is. I love how mysterious that card is. I love how dark it is. Beautiful. And the wheel. This is saying so much to me right now. I'm going to actually have to sit and meditate with this card. I am enamored. Justice is another one of my ride or die cards. And this one, no exception. She is amazing and gorgeous and strong and ready for battle. How appropriate is that? The Hanged Man. Now this is honestly one of the most captivating images for the hang Hanged Man I think I've ever seen. It's also very different than the traditional Hanged Man that I've ever seen. Very different indeed. Whoops. Okay, for those of you that know me, might know that I am slightly fascinated with the um, Latin um, celebration of the Day of the Dead. And so this card, ooh, my friends, like amazing, she's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Very gorgeous. And temperance. This is actually the card my company is named after. That's a pretty deck. Sorry, we might get some noise in the background. My husband is going to take a nap before dinner. He wakes up at 3 a.m. for work, so he just got home a bit ago. And I have two dogs that are barking. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, this is one of, I think this is the only deck that I own that has a devil card, and I like her. Check out that beauty. Right? Yeah. Total temptress. The tower. And a beautiful of the star. The moon. It looks like a romance novel cover. It's so gorgeous. If look, I don't read romance novels really, but if this was on the cover, I would read her. I would read that. Mm. Mm -mm. And the sun. So beautiful, because that could be a sunrise or a sunset. How beautiful is that?
judgment. I'm going to have to meditate with the imagery on this one. It's not traditional, but it is gorgeous. And it's talking to me, but it's only whispering. So I'm going to have to meditate with that one. The world. Yes. Oh, stunning. And then I don't, I'm actually going to have to look in the book for this one because I think it's a substitute for another card in a, in a more traditional system. And it's the Angel de la Nuit, so Angel of the Night. And it's beautiful. It's not numbered. It's not a member of the Major Arcana. So not really sure where she fits in. But we'll find out. We'll learn. We'll figure it out. She is beautiful. So now that was the Major Arcana. And then the extra card, which I'm not sure if it's Major or Minor Arcana. I'm going to have to look that up. Let's look that up in a minute. Um, the next rest of the deck are our suits and um, we're going to just quickly oh, yeah we're going to quickly go through the suits so we're going to start with the cups because that's just next and the ace of cups these are almost borderless I mean you just have the little banner at the bottom with the with the title of the card. Other than that, they're borderless. So, really gorgeous. And the Two of Cups is very gothy vibes on this deck. So beautiful. Very much an Alice in Wonderland um, on this one, which is the Three of Cups. Four of Cups. Oops, there we go. I'm trying to get flare off of it. Five of Cups. And six of Cups. The Seven of Cups. Eight of Cups. Nine of Cups. And Ten of Cups. Ooh, the Page of Cups. That was a surprise. I was not expecting that imagery. That was nice. And the Knight is also a woman. Very beautiful. And the Queen. And King. So there's our Suit of Cups. And moving on to pentacles, here is our ace, our two, I'm going to try to go through these a little quicker so we can get to a reading, a three, hello Scarlet, my sweet girl, my bigger dog. Oh, is that a good ear scratch? I don't know if you can hear her like moaning in pleasure over there as she scratches her ear. She, it's like her favorite thing. She's just like, oh, you know, when you get up and you get that good stretch, Scarlet's thing is, oh, let me just get that ear. Oh, yeah. Yeah, is that good? You're a good girl. Okay. 
four. Really? Yes, we hear you. We hear you, sweet girl. Five. Ooh, sexy. The six. Oh, I love this. This has this is definitely inspired by, um, I don't know if you saw the movie with Natalie Portman called Black Swan. That is definitely has some Black Swan vibes right there. Beautiful. Very influenced by that film, I think. There's your eight. Oh, I love this too. Oh. Nine. And then here's our ten. And our page of pentacles, heavily influenced by um, Frozen. Look at that. Very Frozen-esque. And then the knight. Oh, wow. She's got a side. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. The queen. Looks ready for a gothic ball. King of Pentacles. I like that. Moving on to our wands. Here is our ace. And our two. Three. This is a really special deck. This is gorgeous. Our four. Our five. The six. The seven of wands, eight, the nine, the ten. Probably our sexiest knight yet. Isn't she a stunner? Oh, the Queen of Wands. Oh my. And the King of Wands. And then on to our final suit. We're down to our final cards. <laughs> Before we get to a reading, oh, I can't wait. We have our Ace of Swords. And two. The three. Oh. The four. So beautiful. The five. The six. Seven. The eight. Nine. 
Okay. The page. The night. Some artists on this really liked Game of Thrones. <laughs> Queen. And the final card, the king. Very cool. So, let's do a card pull, shall we? This is going to take me a few minutes to randomize cards. Um, one thing about this deck... I might be, some people might be disappointed in this. I'm okay with it. There is not a ton of cultural representation here among the people featured in the deck. Um, it's also very female heavy, which is a plus for some people. And um, um, other people like their decks a little bit more balanced, male, female. Um, this deck is going to take a while for me to get used to because there's cards in here I'm not used to reading, um, not familiar with their meanings, um, definitely going to have to meditate with some of these cards. I think they're going to get worn looking kind of quick because sometimes this high gloss is just doesn't last well, but... You know, that's fine. I like, I actually like it when a deck gets worn as long as the cards aren't boxed or anything like that or like marked in some way. Um, I do have a deck that I use a little less than I used to because some of the cards are just so worn that they're marked. Um, so, um, yeah, I do like a deck once it's got been like broken in and is well loved. So I am going to spread the cards out and um, do a quick draw and see what I see. I'll tell you what, and I have a feeling it's going to influence the card that's drawn. There was a spirit in here earlier. Um, I got the faint. I generally detect spirit by, <laughs> this is weird, smell. <laughs> like a, my sister is a natural medium. She can see them, hear them, whatever. I have and can see spirits should they manifest strong enough. It's not my strong suit. But I smell them. <laughs> I am like Scooby-Doo when it comes to ghosts. It's, um, it's a smell thing. I am a scent hound when it comes to paranormal activity. So, yeah, it's weird. I often, often will get a smell. And uh, I had the faint scent of rum earlier. Excuse me while I take a sip of my drink. A faint scent of rum earlier, and there's no alcohol in the house. Uh, definitely not in my office. But I smelled it. Generally, when I get a smell here at home, it's the spirit of of someone that belongs or is somehow attached to a certain friend of mine, whom um, I'm I'm close to, and. Uh, it's when a certain spirit family member usually is concerned about her, worried about her, whatever, and they've been passed on. I will um, sometimes get a smell, like when it's her aunt, I think. No, her mom. When her mom wants to talk to her, I will suddenly get... Um, a burnt toast smell. Her mom liked her morning toast pretty dark. <laughs> so yeah, that's just a, that's a good example. I'll get like a burnt toast smell. 
um, not long after my grandfather died, sometimes in our apartment at the time, and my husband would get this sometimes too because it was that strong, we would sometimes get the smell of um, either Ice House or Rolling Rock beer. Um, at the time, neither beer he used to drink. And so it would never be in the house, and yet we would smell it, and it's very distinctive um, to me as a Guinness girl myself, um, smelling those beers. It smelled like my grandfather, and, uh, and I knew he was close. Um, so, yeah, it's just been a thing that I do. Spirits, I smell them. So, I have a feeling whoever I was smelling in here earlier might influence this card pull. What I'm doing is I'm just fanning out the deck on my desk. I have severely chopped lips right now, too, which is why I'm not wearing any makeup. Excuse me, because they hurt. Chapstick's my friend. Um, just regular old chapstick. I have two of them here. One of them just missing its label, and I think it's, yeah, it's mango. In case y'all wanted to know. All right. It's funny, I don't usually choose with my left hand, but I'm compelled to choose with my left hand today. And I am really being drawn to three cards, four cards came out, so we're going to read all four of them. Set the deck aside. Four cards came out, and I'm going to read them in this order of this one, this one, this one, and that one. So, first card is the Queen of Wands. She speaks of cold and winter. Maybe winter was. Winter was when the person in this card passed, and it is a female. The Hermit. So crazy that I got those two together, as light and bright as this one is, and as dark as this one is, and mysterious. Um, the Hermit is speaking to me of dark desires, of wanting to do things but solitarily and to keep things close. Um, a secret project is in the works. Uh, something going on that this person doesn't want to talk about. Um, and the Queen of Wands, not sure how she ties in just yet. We're going to figure it out in a minute, but it's two different people. The Queen of Wands is attached to the Hermit. We'll see what's going on. Four of Swords. Four of Swords. I think the person that... Oh, man. I need to find out which one of my friends this is. Oh. Um, ooh, I want to say Tammy just by default. Tammy, I'm going to call you out, my friend. Um... Oh, it's it's like definitely want to say it's her too. She feels on like she's on borrowed time. Um, very sick. Doesn't feel well. Not been sleeping well. She's 
hiding and she's always trying to hide it. She's always trying to slap a smile and pretend like everything's okay. And it's not. It's really not. She is dying a little every day inside her. She feels like she is. Um, oh. Oh. I think I know what's going on here. I mean, besides the fact that she really is ill, um, but she has had kind of a run of luck lately, or it feels like she's had a run of bad luck lately. I think someone has cursed her, and this person is concerned that that might have happened, and is trying to communicate that something's up, that something has been done to her by this card, this person. Um, yeah. The Queen of Cups is, hmm, Um, I keep getting the, the head in the sand kind of thing that um, the person affected and I and I, I won't swear entirely that it's Tammy until I talk to my friend um, but this is someone that feels like they're powerless to resolve what's going on here. Um, and they feel they're having to push back too. There is someone trying to come close and be close and she's pushed back. I don't want you. I don't want you in my aura. I don't want you in my space. I don't want you in my life. You know, um, you need to leave. You need to leave and she won't look at the person. Um, that's, that's what I'm getting. It's like a, a narcissistic relationship to whoever, whichever my friend that these, that's showing up in these cards. Um, they are dealing with somebody that's, narcissistic and toxic and they are having to deal with that situation and it doesn't make them feel very good it makes making them feel more sick so yeah um, so she's pushing back and that's good uh, that's good she needs to continue to do that but she is letting that toxicity affect her more which she doesn't need because she has a lot going on that she's that's out of her control um so yeah i had a feeling that was going to um be heavily influenced i'm actually going to take a quick picture of this layout and post it and oh yeah, I'm trying to get out the glare. Mm. Meh, meh. Oh, glare. How I load the. That's good. <laughs> okay. So, thank you if you have stuck through this whole thing. I do um, want to occasionally feature. Um, tarot decks. Um, I am thinking about setting up a Patreon because if you like these unboxings and want to see more, I do have to pay of my own hard earned money. And, uh, so they will be very few and far between right now. Um, but if you want to see more of this type of content and would like to contribute, if I do set up a Patreon, um, it will go entirely to fun things I need for this channel. Um, 
as uh, content, you know, things like that. This schedule that I'm looking at right now, I don't know if I'm going to stick to this schedule yet, but can see because it's kind of a vigorous schedule, but uploading four days a week, Metaphysical Monday, um, or Magic Monday. I haven't figured out what I'm going to title it yet, but that is going to be a series, if you would like to see that, where we talk about um, magic and magic working. Um, and um, working with tools and energies and phases of the moon and things like that. Uh, and if I expand it beyond that, um, that's, we might, but I think for right now we're going to stick it to magic working. Uh, Tarot Tuesdays where I will do a poll for the week. Um, I will pull a tarot card or two or three <laughs> and an oracle card. Um, I uh, will probably do a quick, just one single card pull from a deck uh, of my choosing and uh, Oracle. Uh, sometimes in the comments, I may open it up to, uh, I'll tell you what decks I have and then you get to choose. Um, Rando Wednesday. Um, that is probably going to be content unrelated to tarot. I may talk skincare. I am not a beauty guru. By the way, never going to be one, but uh, we may do a get ready with me. We may do a uh, skincare video. Um, I might just open it up to life topics uh, in general, such as my daughter is starting sixth grade. <laughs> I am, uh, and she will be 12 in October, so I'm about to be the mom of a very hormonal teen tween um yeah and also the fact that she is in the autism spectrum is a whole nother level of parenting challenges <laughs> so she's just into the autism spectrum so um i don't have the challenges that a lot of autistic parents have but um it's there and it's, it actually happens to be why she's not going to the same middle school as her other friends. Uh, she will be going to a different middle school in our in, uh, outside of our cluster. And so, you know, I might be talking about the challenges of that. Um, random Wednesday. May or may not happen every week, but it'll happen when it happens. Because it's random. And then Oracle Thursdays, where I would love to focus on... Um, I've read the tarot for years. Just in the past year, I've gotten into Oracle cards. And that's when I want to focus on actually doing a full Oracle reading, um, where right now it's just like a card that I pull with my regular tarot readings. It's like a supporting card to the message in the tarot reading. And that works for me very well. But I also want to develop um, Oracle readings and actually do like full on oracle readings I think would be fun and I think um, that's going to take up Thursdays and then Fridays maybe depending uh, we might do a tea and tarot live um, uh, that would be Friday evenings eastern time probably pretty late um, so we'll see, um, but I do love a good cup of tea before bed. I think it would be good for me to relax with my tarots and we do a tarot live. And um, what I may do is it would be different each time. Um, I kind of don't want to open it up to I'll do a reading for, you know, X number of people in the chat and we'll be on for a little while. I don't want to do that because I'll get flooded with, oh, do me, do me. And that is, that causes a lot of chaos. But I would love it if maybe if the rest of you have tarot cards or some of you are interested in getting into tarot and maybe want to do a Q&A on how to start or this is the deck's. That I like what do you think um, 
keep it keep the the chat friendly keep it um, respectful and uh, I may not do those right away I may uh, because I would need a couple of moderate a moderator or two at least um, to sit you know on the stream and uh, and we do that and um, but I think tea and Tara would be a lot of fun and uh, might move that to Saturdays versus Fridays. We'll see how it goes. Um, right now I'm thinking of Friday, so I have my weekends free because it's summertime and, you know, spending time with the kiddo and things like that. So that's where we're at now. Thank you so much. If you've managed this 46-minute video and you've managed to sit through the whole unboxing and chit-chat and the reading, I appreciate you. I appreciate you for coming. If you like my tarot content, uh, please hit that like button, ring my bell to, uh, after uh, you subscribe to make sure that you don't miss any of my videos because I am going to be uploading and doing lives and things like that. Um, so yeah, like, subscribe, ring the bell, and bright blessings. Catch you soon.